United States support? What is this support? What the? That's a podcast? That's a pie. Listen to it. It's a terrible waste of time. It's amateurish crap. That's what it is. I don't care how bored you are or how empty your life is. You shouldn't be listening to this, and the people doing it should not be doing it. It's a crime against humanity. All right, everybody, welcome back to the What Is This Blank podcast. Uh, I'm going to just real quick here. Um, some of you people may already know, because if you follow us on the socials and stuff, we got some merch out there. Look at that. <laughs> Two of one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> one of these things is not the same. No, I I got I got Steven a hat too. It's just it wasn't this kind and because we were trying it out and and I failed. I got him a bad hat. So that's a great hat. It's just I've got a fat head with some extra hair. That's all. <laughs> it, I mean it happens. When we it get does. older our, our heads get fat. <laughs> Look at my head. My head is monstrous. I'm on the last peg of this thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like no joke. It actually like I'm you driving are on the sound. Last peg of it? No, it's the last two pegs. All right. But the pegs on mine are so weak, it'll literally just pop open. <laughs> like a girl with big boobs, how sometimes their bras will just pop open. Ah, wooga. Bumab, everybody. Bumab. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. You gotta go to the our shop is on Redbubble. If you go to our Facebook page, there's a couple posts on there where you can actually go to Redbubble and you can buy stuff with our logo or you can buy our new catchphrase, Bameb, boobs make everything better. <laughs> That's, if you disagree, then I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> okay, so to the show. This week, um, this movie was brought to us by a friend of Steven's. Steven, you want to shout out your friend real quick? Yeah, this is my good buddy, uh, Jason. Uh, he actually introduced me to this movie a while back, and it was pretty awful back then. And he's been listening, and he's like, "Oh, you guys got to do this one." So uh, I think you guys checked it out first. Like, I watched the trailer, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, this is worthy." Yeah, and then when I saw the trailer, I was like, "Oh my god, I saw that! I've seen <laughs> that movie before. I saw it when I was a kid." You did? Yes. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I didn't. Re- I. It was those things where you know you saw it, so you remember this, you know, little bits, pieces, this and that, you know, but I didn't remember the whole story and premise, but I know I've seen that movie. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for that, uh, Jason. Thank yeah. you. J- Jason, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, an hour and 50 minutes of my day. I won't get back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I actually um, <laughs> fell asleep twice. Oh, Aww. but in my in my defense of falling asleep, I was actually really tired. So it wasn't like I was like, hey, it's it's a movie, but it sucked. <laughs> no, I was actually... <laughs> and I had to watch it on a laptop because the only way we could get it was our boy Kevin there. He had to order a VHS off of eBay. Yeah, off of eBay. <laughs> Six and dollars. Then he also... Yeah, six dollars, <laughs> and then he also had to order this like converter thing so he could convert it from VHS to DVD CD copies. And I tried to play it in all my DVD players here at home. I'm a PS4 and a DVD player, and it said, "Fuck you, that's nothing." Oh, weird. So I had to get uh one of the boys' laptops that has a CD drive in it, charge that up, and get it playing, and there it goes. Nice four three one eighty p. <laughs> video video <laughs> awesome i was getting so, so pissed just at the quality that makes kevin the employee of the month then he went like above and beyond yeah but i got hats <laughs> that's true so i'm like the bad employee of the month because i did nothing no right. we're, we share you it made the logo you made the logo oh okay. yeah steven steven drew that up people it's fucking awesome uh but also because of you we got to watch this movie so oh, okay. All right, we'll call see, it. See, we're a team. <laughs> <laughs> Synergy. Synergy. Togetherness. Togetherness. It's a circle. It's a heart. 
Okay. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so the movie that we watched was 19, 1990? I thought 90? Was, wow. Okay. I, I thought it was much well, uh, older than it, that. It was shot in 87. It it was released in 1990 because of financial well, reasons. But Well, those graphics take a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Expert graphics, they take a lot. And they had to keep keep trying to find hats that would fix fit text, you know. He's got fat head props too. Can't find a cowboy hat that fits him. All right. So the uh, synopsis of this movie called Robot Jocks, and that's J O X because why not? The future. In the distant future, mankind has forsaken global wars for Oh my god, I went dark. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> In the distant future, mankind has forsaken global wars for battles of single combat. The world has been divided into two opposing superpowers, with each side represented by trained champions, a.k.a. robot jocks. Their (laughs) weapons are huge robotic machines capable of battle on land, sea, and in the air. So we never saw the sea, so I don't know why you even got to say that. Uh, A little bit of the air which made no fucking sense. <laughs> um, so I'll give kind of a little, you know, like I do, a little rundown of the movie. Starts off, there's two robots fighting each other. One's obviously some sort of Russian or German guy. Is he German or Russian? German? Russia. Russian, okay. Great Russian accent. Totally perfect. Spot on. <laughs> uh, he's fighting another, or no, it starts off the, the good, what we assume is the good robot. We don't know what countries are involved in these things. This guy's all hurt and he's like, Oh, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm on the ground. Please. Oh, Russian guy. You win. You win. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, I will break you. <laughs> he comes with his big robot foot and he squashes the guy, he steps up, kills him. Uh, so then whatever state they were fighting for the, that side wins. Uh, then, the Russian guy calls out what is the, what apparently the best robot jock there is. And that is, uh, shit, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> Achilles. <laughs> what is it? Achilles. Achilles. <laughs> See, my Achilles heel is remembering shit. You are next, Achilles. You are next, Achilles. <laughs> Russia. So, yeah, Mother Russia says you are next, Achilles. <laughs> I will break you too. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Okay, one more week. Okay. So he calls out Achilles because apparently you fight it. You make a contract where you got to fight nine fights or ten fights, and Achilles has fought nine. And his 10th fight is for the state of Alaska. They've got minerals. They've got oil. They've got wood. So you got to have Alaska. (laughs) So (laughs) leading up to the fight, uh, apparently we find out that there's a spy within the ranks somewhere. And every week they have a secret weapon or every fight they have a secret weapon. But the Russian guy always finds out their secret weapon. So (laughs) he's able to defend it. So this time again, the secret weapon is green lasers. I'm not sure why green lasers are any different than any other color lasers, but they are. But Russian guy goes bing bong like Wonder Woman. And gets, like, <laughs> bing bong the whole thing out of there. <laughs> and uh, so he defends that. And then a uh, Russian guy comes over and he actually like kind of knocks down Achilles. They shoot stuff at each other, and then they have to go to -to hand-to-hand, which is really robot-to-robot. Bots walk up, and they're hitting each other and stuff, and uh, it's not until the rope, the saw penis is later. That's the last, (laughs) right? That's a little precursor to what's about to come. Saw penis. (laughs) So, uh, he he gets, you know, he's, he's he he would it's it becomes a draw because then the uh, Russian guy shoots his 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 robot fist 
spits <laughs> out and it shoots. But it goes astray, and it's actually going to go towards the audience that you would, of course, have sitting right on either side of these giant robots <laughs> fighting, because why not? So, <clears throat> so that the giant fist doesn't go into the stands and kill, like, maybe 20 people. Like, <laughs> please! He jumps in front of it like his robot, like, whoa, I'm going to take this bullet for everybody. But it hits him in the chest, pushes him over on top of all the fans, <laughs> kills 300 of them. So that was a good <laughs> call. Good call. <laughs> yes. You're the hero that just killed 300 people. <laughs> so, uh, turns out that after that, the fight ends in a draw. The referees decide. Uh, so they have to fight again. <laughs> and then there's some back and forth because Achilles, that was technically his 10th battle, but his bosses are like, uh, 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 you have to finish <laughs> 10 battles, which also made no sense to me because if it ends in a draw, that's a finish. Yeah. So he finished 10 fights. Yeah. So that's your first stupid plot hole. <laughs> I actually don't know if there's any more. I wasn't paying that close attention, but. <laughs> he finished 10 fights. But then he's like, I'm not fighting, bro. I'm not going to do it. I did my 10. That's it. Now I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to get drunk. <laughs> so, uh, well, okay, now back up a little bit. Before this brawl, before his brawl ended in a draw, he meets uh, all these other uh, the future robot jocks. The tubies. The tubies. <laughs> they are S2 babies. They were built out of genetic material, so... Required to have flat tops. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's, what, that's what that old lady doctor, she's like, here, I need genetic material. It's the and, kid uh, play haircut or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, those, those tubies, they're kind of like... Gung ho, no remorse, no sympathy, no. Uh, we are only here to fight and mm. kill other robot people. Mm -hmm. So one of them happens to be a woman, but of course, this is the early '90s. She's got no chance of being a robot jock because she's a chick. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so then, so then. They have to have this competition with all the tubies to see who's going to fight in this big battle for Alaska. Um, the girl wins, of course, because that's easy writing. The girl's got to win. Um, <laughs> then when Achilles sees that the girl's going to uh, fight, he's like, nah, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to let a girl fight because <laughs> hey, I met her once and I love her now. I want to jump her <laughs> I want to give her the genetic material, like you know, old school. I'll just it to her, you know. Here, I got some genetic material for you. <laughs> like, what do you need genetic material? Talk about my dick. That's what I mean. My dick and what comes out of it. Not two pieces. Pee piece. Uh, see, I'm. A He's like, I'm a pee-pee baby. You're a tubie. <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> so Achilles decides, I'm going to fight. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to win Alaska. Plus, I got to beat the Russian because he's a jerk. So they have a couple run-ins in the bar. The Russian's a jerk, of course. And then when it comes day, the day for the big battle to happen, the girl comes in and she... She taunts him. She teases him. She makes him think that she wants that genetic material. You know, she's like, turn around and I got a surprise for you. I'm going to give you this stuff. And so he, like an idiot, turns around and then she shoots him with a gun in the back, but it's like a tranquilizer gun. And he's like, ow, you shot me. <laughs> she's like, it's a sedative. Go to sleep. I'm going to go fight. And then he's a Superman, so the, the tranquilizer doesn't really phase him, and they fight back and forth. He gets her on the bed, and then as we see in late 80s, early 90s movies, it's 
mildly sexual assaulty, but not very much. <laughs> but he gets on top of her and he's like, "Can't you understand why I don't want why I want to fight now?" And then he kisses her and then she hits him in the junk. <laughs> and then everything is electronic, so she goes out of his place and she pulls the cord so he can't open his door. He's trapped in his apartment now. Because the only way to open the door is with electronics. There's no hinges. It's uh-huh. a whoop. It's a door. (laughs) So she goes out early. Nobody can tell that it's her, even though she's not even close to the size. Uh And like it took them way too long to notice that because it was always what's the catchphrase? Crash and burn. (laughs) Everybody bumps fists. Crash and burn. Shake and bake. Yeah. It doesn't seem like that's the type of thing you want to say. Like, I'm going to go on a robot, and I'm going to fight somebody. Crash and burn, buddy. Wait a minute, what? You want me to crash and burn? Doesn't that mean we lose? Yeah, <laughs> crash and burn, bud. <laughs> so he never says crash and burn, and then finally, as she's getting into the robot, one guy's like, hey, that's not Achilles. Hmm. So she gets in the robot. She starts to fight. She, of course, can't fight because she's a girl. And then... <laughs> That's not me. That's not me saying that. That's text. That's not me. That's text. That's not me. Don't come at me. Don't at me. <laughs> but I mean, it was kind of true. She got her ass kicked. Anyway. <laughs> and uh, the secret weapon for this battle was kept secret because Hiri, Hiri, Hiriyashi, Moshi, Miramo, Mishimori, the Japanese. <laughs> Uh, engineer guy, but he kept it a secret. Turns out Tex is a double agent. Tex was stealing the secrets to give to the Russian guy, so he keeps the the, the doctor, Japanese engineer guy, keeps it a secret from Tex. But then Tex comes in. He's like, "You better tell me what that secret weapon is." <laughs> <laughs> and the Japanese doctor guy's like, "You're the spy. I'm not telling you." And then Tex takes a gun and he shoots him for real and then he tells everybody that the Japanese guy was the the thief and it wasn't but then we go okay now fast forward back to the battle so she uses the secret weapon because the the engineer guy recorded a video so he plays the video and it's a light that blinds him for 90 seconds which turns out only for about 4 seconds (laughs) fucking work at all (laughs) and then instead of her like doing something after blinding him she's like (laughs) yeah Hey, that kind of, yeah, yeah, it was a bright light. Cool. (laughs) Russian guy charges at her, jumps at her with the spider robot legs, kicks the shit out of her. (laughs) Um, Then at that point, Achilles is like, I got to go help her. So he runs out there. He jumps in the robot. They fight. And then for some unknown reason, they fucking fly into space. (laughs) And they come back down. And then he turns into a tank. And then at that point, the robot saw penis comes out and he tries to fight. So, and it ends up where nobody that they, they, uh, I'm trying to remember. So actually Achilles wins because the one guy didn't give up and he stepped on the referee's car, <laughs> yeah. but the referees jumped out of the car. They lived. So they disqualified. Yay. We win Alaska and all of its wood. <laughs> so then at the end, I'll just get to it. At the end, they have a real actual fist battle. Like, they're fighting each other and stuff. And then they stop, like, man, come on. Neither of us have to die. (laughs) We can live. We can both live. And then you know what happens? Look behind me. This happens. Boom! (laughs) We put our fists together with our thumbs up. (laughs) Credits. <laughs> that's how the. That's literally the last frame of movie right there. So, that's it. Fists. Fists together, and now we're buddies. We're buds. <laughs> so. Okay, Kevin. No, Stephen. <laughs> what's your first thought on the movie? <laughs> um, it's ridiculous. 
Okay. Uh, I would have eaten this up as a kid. Like if I had uh, 90, I was pretty little still. So I probably, I don't know if I would have watched this, but um, I probably would have loved this as a kid. My only thing was, I guess my wife was watching it with me. She was a good mm-hmm. sport. And we were both kind of amazed. Like it's 50 years in the future after a nuclear Holocaust. <laughs> And yet we still have like this 80s mentality like, oh, you're a girl. You can never be a fighter. And we still have like cowboys with cowboy hats, but spacesuits on like <laughs> there's nothing <laughs> like they barely they barely went with like a futuristic like, OK, you got robots, but you still got all the crap of the 80s in there or the early 90s, I guess. But Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of uh, progression. No, I didn't. I actually didn't understand all this. Maybe I missed that part about the nuclear holocaust and how far in the future it was. They not realize well, that it's fifty years after nuclear holocaust, so I don't know what what the the start of the timeline is. But you would think after something that significant, you would look past uh, sex and be cool Boy, with women, robot fighters. When you th- when you think about. The way stuff evolves and and everything now, to think that in the movie the storyline is nuclear holocaust, and then just fifty years later they're fighting with giant fucking robots and stuff. Mm-hmm. That, that's a lot to do in fifty years. <laughs> well, did you hear how many resources Alaska had? <laughs> Not a lot of wood in those robots. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Well, that one robot had wood. That's exploding. <laughs> Kevin, what's the very first note you wrote? Achilles! <laughs> Achilles! <laughs> that definitely pegged my mic on that one. <laughs> but, but you know what? I mean, this took me on a roller. I, I was expecting it to be horrible. And then for a while, it really had me. Like, yeah, I was like, I was so close. And then they just forgot or didn't know how to write an end. Like, someone like, we do this. And like, yeah. And then we'll do this. And like, yeah. <laughs> and we'll figure the rest out. <laughs> and okay, which one dies? Which one kills which one? Which one? <laughs> We're not about death anymore. But man, like remake that movie now with like Matt Damon and like Pacific Rim graphics and that's a pretty sweet movie. Well, I mean... Well, it is Pacific Rim pretty much. I mean, it's, well... It's Pacific Rim and the movie Real Steel combined. Yeah. Or, or, so I guess, you know, the other way around. They... Both those movie people had to have seen Robot Jocks. Oh, yeah. And then and then made their movies because of it. Because they're riding in robots just like Pacific Rim, but they're not fighting each other. They're fighting monsters. Right. Real Steel, it's somebody controlling robots, and the robots are fighting. Right. So it's like a movie like that. There's no way that movie didn't influence them when they made no, those other yeah. movies. No way. Well, I, you're, I think you nailed it. Plus, I never understood, though, like <clears throat> after like one of the fights, they're like training like in karate or some martial arts. It's like, Hold on, you've got robots and like state of the art technology. You guys could probably just sit on your ass and the robots could fight. Do we really need to walk in place in the robot's chest to make this work? Like, it seems like a waste of. Well, and when they're in the robots fighting, it's not like. (laughs) 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 No, but. (laughs) (laughs) It's just saw at the end. (laughs) The battle sometimes goes out of the robots and onto the dirt. I don't think it does, actually. I think that was just for the movie. I think it's supposed to end in the robot. It is. I don't I don't think that happens. How it ends does not matter. That's what the referees in this movie would say. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our problem you don't have your right jock in there. Nothing matters. <laughs> I like Which at is... the beginning that first that first fight that we see with the opening credits. You see the uh, injured guy from the West. And he's like, you've won, I'm, my back's broken, blah, blah, blah. And the Russian guy's like, all right. And he stomps on him. And you see this big robot foot coming down. I'm like, oh, it's, he's going to crush it. He doesn't crush it. He just kind of goes, ba-dink, ba-dink. And like, <laughs> he just kind of hits it. And it kind of, you know what I mean? Like, he should have smashed it. And he did it. He just tap, tap. 
Yep. Dead. Dead. Well, it's hard to get little pieces of plastic to bend and break, you know? <laughs> like, if yeah. you look at, I'm sure you guys both probably Googled and saw the miniatures for this. Those are actually mm. kind of cool. Those are cool robots. I, the, stop, <laughs> the stop motion in this is not bad. Like, it's pretty decent stop motion on those things. You know? It is. It's, it's actually a little herky jerky sometimes, but it's pretty good. Yeah. That took somebody well, like seven years to do, probably. Yeah. Well, think about, think about it, too. I mean, there's movies older than this that the animation's worse and the movie is better. Yeah. So this was like a missed opportunity where, like, if the <laughs> writing had been, like, a yeah. thousand times better, this thing could have been huge. Right. Or you have, like, Tom Selleck as the as the, the main robot jock. You know, you have a little bigger name. Oh, yeah. Tex. No. <laughs> no, Tex, I, Tex, they picked a good Tex. You Tex picked Tom was... Arnold could have been Tex. <laughs> no, come on. No, I don't think and... Tex was the make or break casting for this movie. No, <laughs> no. they will. Just Dolph... sh- they get too many lines. Dolph Lundgren should have been the the freaking Russian guy. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And what was the girl's name? Flat Top. Aries. Oh, Aries. Why do I remember her name? I don't know. Because <laughs> you saw her butt. Wait, what? We saw her butt? Did yeah. I was I asleep at that point? You slept through some nudity? You missed it. Did I really? <laughs> you missed her and you see Achilles grassy knoll in his gassy hole a little bit. <laughs> Did I miss this? I thought every time I fell asleep. He's dressing and he's moving way too much for where that camera's framed and they just went with it. They're like, that's a <laughs> Uh, my next note though is okay ready (laughs) I can't read but I ain't dumb (laughs) where the fuck did that come from where where does that come from I don't know know where it came from it's just weird that all of a sudden in the movie they throw that in there that oh he's a little bit why why does it matter that he's a why? It never comes to play ever. Because <laughs> even if he could read, the contract still says what it says. <laughs> I mean, but that it's like sense why all the buttons for the weapons are all like shapes and colors. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's under the star, and it's literally like a star cut out of paper and painted gold. Oh, there it is. <laughs> His control board's like made by Fisher Price. Star, <laughs> moon, smiley face, cat, dog. A picture of a fist to punch and a picture of a fist to kick. <laughs> green lasers just a green a green like star. Red lasers a red star. <laughs> Did I do good text? Did I do good in my fight today, Tex? <laughs> Oh. But I don't. <laughs> but it's like, oh, no, no. I can't <laughs> but also, why? Why would nations agree to this? Like, okay, to like we gotta, <laughs> we gotta find a way to settle our wars. <laughs> I know. Giant robots. <laughs> yeah, like why not just getting an octagon? Why not just have those two guys get an octagon and fight it out that way? That's true. My, they do my, all the martial arts. Yeah, that's right. My one guess would be maybe since there was the nuclear thing, maybe there's not enough people to have armies? Maybe. I don't know. Still, the progression from nothingness, nuclear winter holocaust, <laughs> to 50 years later, we got giant fucking robots. <laughs> <laughs> And there's enough people that would sign a waiver to watch that live. Yes. They signed a waiver. Tomorrow? They know what they're getting into. <laughs> what are you doing, Mark? I'm going to go watch the uh, robot jocks fight. You know, he might not come back from that. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> How often has that ever happened? Give me a break. <laughs> uh, I hated the whole, like, oh, well, well, first of all, did you notice everyone's wearing masks outside? Not everyone, but a lot of them had masks on. 
Oh, yes, yeah. I did. I noticed that. Like, they totally predicted 2020 for us. I mean, Holy shit. May- maybe we're a step away from robot jocks, but. <clears throat> oh, there's no I... about somewhere. There has to be. <laughs> Japan, Japan just maybe. built one. <laughs> yeah. Japan just built Japan one. Japan has yeah. this stuff. Yeah. It's not a real, it's not a real robot. Uh, yet. It looked like it, it moved. It, it, well, Did you guys see when Achilles goes back to his family and they're all around the table and his mom's bragging? She's like, We got meat tonight. There's like one hot dog and like a cup of beans. <laughs> <Chili> or, yeah. <laughs> and, then you're like, and then he leaves in his flying fucking car. You're like, Wait, you're. <laughs> You got this fly fucking car, but your nine member family's eating one hot dog and a cup of beans. Like that's kind of a dick move, Achilles. It looked like it might have been bun length and like a jumbo frank. So that's a lot of meat. <laughs> Sorry, wait, meat. Bun that's length. a lot of meat. He's like, gotta go, gotta get my flying car. Yeah. <laughs> Are you hungry? No, no, I'm not hungry. Stops at Space McDonald's on the way home. <laughs> what and you can see you can see the advance in technology too. That that buzzsaw penis <laughs> on the Russian robot that that wasn't the first one. I'm sure that's been used in smaller models. <laughs> <laughs> that's been proven an effective robot tool to have. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah. Well, it, and it goes right back to that robot was a, in initially made for sex because. Before, when it was smaller, those doors opened up, and then a penis came out. <laughs> and then, bloop, penis. <laughs> bloop. Bloop, penis. So Alexander is like a futuristic post-nuclear geisha. <laughs> I get you, Achilles! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh! Wow! <laughs> you know, I, I. So at the end, Achilles is fighting Spider Chainsaw and Dick Robot, and I think that's his actual name. Goes up into space. And I'm like, yeah. oh, that's pretty interesting. What, what's Achilles' <coughs> move? His move is just to slowly float around and stay there. And then Alexander just hits him. Like, what kind of move was that? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, that, that's why I, I brought that up before when I was telling the thing. I'm like, and then they go to space. Why? I even, that's my next note, too, was space. Why? Fresh lands. But then he starts transforming. Like, oh, it was a ruse. He's going to transform into something badass. And that tank mode just kind of barely slowly moved. And then he fucking becomes a, a mix between Bumblebee and <laughs> and the fucking cat tank from from Thundercats. He puts, <laughs> puts his hands on his knees and he's like, "Eh." <laughs> Which, by the way, his mouth would then be in perfect position for the saw penis. <laughs> God. Yeah. And that's where Alexander put it. That's what got that's what got Achilles out because he was like grah, 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 and Achilles jumped up the bed. <laughs> this movie was is about the... sex robots. This oh, robot movie. Robot. So <laughs> well I don't <laughs> I got I got nothing else, boys. I got I, I said all my notes. Uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, my last note we already talked about, um, it was the evolution in this movie, unlike Howard the Duck, it wasn't screw penis, it was <laughs> saw penis. <laughs> yep. At this anyway. stage. Yeah. <laughs> but, actually, now that I think about it, I wrote, not a screw dick, but a saw penis. It could have been actually a giant drill bit. See, that would have made better sense. Oh yeah, could have been. You know what? I bet it was a drill bit at first, and they were like, "Uh, guys, a drill bit kind of looks like a kind of looks like a penis." <laughs> then they went with the saw, which is still somewhat penis shaped. 
us. There's just no winning, boys. <laughs> we just can't get out of this. <laughs> no matter what, this is going to look like a dick. <laughs> did, you, did you tell the engineers that we couldn't do non-penis weapons? Like, I tried, but, you know, it was just... <laughs> you go they talk said, to them. <laughs> they said it's got to come out the crotch. What else is going to come out the crotch besides a penis-shaped thing? <laughs> Name something that would come out of crotch. Guarantee it looks like a penis. Yeah, the penis come out of the neck? I mean, no, like, the weapon doesn't have to be a penis at all. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, let, me, let me name them off here. Drill bit, penis. Saw, penis. Rocket, penis. Laser, penis. There's no way around it. Everything looks like a penis. That can come out of there. <laughs> What about a jackhammer? Just give me a break. Really? A jackhammer? <laughs> <laughs> an aggressive penis. That's all that is. It's an aggressive penis. Give me a break. <laughs> uh, oh, Can you imagine him coming at him like... <laughs> Where's that green laser now? <laughs> and you know, it would be coming right at the face, too. So it's like... No, no, no. No, no, no. I yield. I yield. I yield. Fully <laughs> <laughs> functional. No, 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 no. Hey, you know, no. Wow. That ain't me. That ain't me. <laughs> well, uh. I think we. I think we covered a lot of this movie, actually, as much as you can. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, did anybody look? Was there a ro- uh, robot box too? Oh, I didn't look. <laughs> I don't think there was. Uh, I don't know how much it made, but the budget ten million dollars. Oh. Ten million dollars in nineteen ninety. It made one point three, but lost eight point seven. Oh my god. <laughs> 10 million it had to have all been the um whatchamacallit the puppet the, uh, yeah what do you call it animatronic stop motion. stop motion there you go there you go yep yeah because i mean 10 million in 1990 that's like top box office budget type of movies back then 10 million right oh yeah jesus <laughs> I mean, we're <laughs> away from that dinosaurs, and this fucking shit's on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> so now, as we get to every point in our show, we have to rate this movie on how many buttholes good is it? The lower uh-huh. amount of holes, the better. There was... I'm going to say 10 tubies. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to give it 10 tuby buttholes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Just just for the sake of science. Do they have buttholes? Oh, they test tube babies. Shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they do, but they might not. They might have engineered those out of them. Do they even eat? They're, yeah, they do. They're actually just human clones. Okay. They're not right. they're not robots or anything like that. All right. Just being so yeah, just... they have they have genitalia. They have ins, innies, outies, uppers, downers. They got all that. We know they have butts. I just wasn't sure if there's anything between them butts. <laughs> if, <you're two> butts. <laughs> if Achilles had it, there'd be something between Aries butt. <laughs> he wanted to first uh, donate his genetic material. That's true. Okay. I gave it 10, 10 tubey buttholes. <laughs> I I'm actually I'm actually okay with a lot of this movie. I'm just I'm... <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm actually okay with this I'm, movie. I'm, I'm, just giving it, I'm, giving it five, I'm giving it five buttholes. I mean, if it had Whoa. a good ending, I'm I'm cut it in. Like I said, for its time, like you know. Well, Normal buttholes, tubey buttholes, robot buttholes. What are we talking about? <laughs> I'm giving it uh, five robot buttholes. Just, you know, <laughs> this is what it is. See, now here's the thing about that. 
Those robots are massive. So well, their yeah, buttholes, buttholes are huge. True. <laughs> That's it's all five to scale. Huge buttholes. Okay. We're just going. Okay, fine. We're grading on a curve. I can. Yeah. <laughs> Even your butthole score. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm right in the middle. Like, I think it's ridiculous. I think there are definitely. <laughs> I think there's definitely stuff like. Again, if the writing had been a lot better, this could have been something. It could have, I don't know. It, it wouldn't be robot jocks we know and love today. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'll give it seven tubi buttholes. Seven tubi buttholes. All right. Not not the worst, but definitely loaded with problems. <laughs> buttholes loaded with problems. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, did you did you get that? I froze on my end. Oh, we're good. <laughs> and I see you. I missed Stephen's score. Oh, uh, Stephen, you want to give it again? Uh, seven, seven to be buttholes. Yeah, oh, and then he man. and then he said that there. What what did you say? God damn it, it's Kevin! Fuck. <laughs> it was funny. I don't remember. Oh, that's it. Was loaded with full of problems. Loaded with problems. Yes. Buttholes yeah, full of problems. It. Yeah, and then I, yeah, and then I said, yeah, yep. Buttholes seven tubey buttholes full of problems. I hope the. <laughs> I hope your record didn't fuck up. It paused on my everything paused oh, on my end. It was God. like Stephen goes, "I'm gonna give it," and long pause, and then laughter. I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> well, I hope maybe we'll have the backup record. Because now I'm stripping the audio from the Skype call. Skype call audio is awesome. <laughs> oh, we better end this because uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Kevin's playing some uh -oh. fucking Max Hedrum shit here now. <laughs> we got to wrap this up before this crashes. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> it's, this thing is about to die. <laughs> okay, we rated it. There you go. Probably an average of like uh, seven and a half buttholes. As always, you can catch us on all your favorite podcast listening uh, sites. Our main one is anchor.fm forward slash what is this blank. You can find links to all of our other uh, podcast uh, thingies there. Uh, you can find us on our socials Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, what is this blank. Uh, and then don't forget about our merch. We got merch on Redbubble. You can find those links on our Facebook. If you search what is this blank on Redbubble, you'll find it. And then don't forget about our Bameb <laughs> merch that's also on there. <laughs> Boobs make everything better. So before uh, Kevin's computer system explodes in his face <laughs> and this whole record is ends, ends up being Max Hedrum shit, uh, <laughs> we're going to wrap it up. So we'll uh, see y'all later. <laughs> Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.